Hi, and welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, I am going to stuff my husband's second check of February and our fourth income for the month of February. So my husband's check goes into our, mostly into our cash funds, a couple of our sinking funds, and then some get set to the side for our savings challenges. So if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'd really appreciate if you take a second down below, hit that subscribe button. If you would like notifications the next time one of my videos posts, make sure you hit the bell. And I would love a thumbs up if you are enjoying my videos. It helps me know that this is something you like. So let's get started. All right, fast food is the first cash envelope we stuff. Um, Sometimes we have money left over this month, yay, or this two weeks, not month, this two weeks, we have $12 left over, yay. So we're gonna stuff this somewhere else in a little while. So I'm just gonna set this to the side. Every two weeks, I put aside $100. So yes, we have a $200 eating out budget every month. But this is something I know we're going to do. So because of that, I make sure I set money aside for it. So 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. I don't feel bad that we do this. Um, that's a lot of money for eating out, but that's reality. So we typically eat out twice a week, maybe, sometimes a little less, just depends. So I really feel the need to have this as one of my cash funds that's just quick and easy. Go grab it, spend it, and I don't have to worry about where it's coming from. Oh. Groceries. I also have a $200 grocery budget. Some months it gets wiped out. Some months it has a little left over. Um, there's a 20 in there. Not bad. Um, with groceries, the prices of things are just skyrocketing. Fortunately, I'm still able to do, go just off of this 200 so really it's $400 a month that I set aside for groceries. We're a house of three. I know that's a lot of money for food. 400 for groceries and 200 for fast food. I need you to know that I've just come to the realization that's a lot of money. I think I'm going to have to rethink that. Um, sorry, so that's for me to think about later. Um, but with price increases at the grocery store, um, fortunately, I have not had to increase this yet, but I have a feeling that's coming really soon. Gas, this is specifically for my car, not my husband's truck. I put a $50 bill in there. It's empty, which tells me I did good this week, or at least two weeks. I paid the credit card. That's what it tells me because it's not in here. Our youngest gets an allowance of $10. $10 is not a lot. I get that, but he doesn't do a lot either. So I don't feel bad. Now, this has actually been adding up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I try to do every $30, he puts 10 in savings, 10 in investing, and 10 in cash so that he can spend. I didn't get around to that, so middle of the month, I middle of this process, I told him, I said, um, why don't we just wait till 60? And he said, okay, so we'll do 20, 20, 20 later for, to divvy all of that out for him. Paper products is gonna get $25. I bulk buy all of my paper products. Um, it's one of the many ways that I can get my shopping fixes out. So it's nice to be able to go to the grocery and just start to spend money. So I'm gonna be honest, before I did the video, I thought about where I wanted this $12 to go. And I know before I get too much farther in this, I know that I'm gonna split it up, that $10 into two fives. So I'm gonna do a quick swap out. All right, so we are up to 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83 dollars in paper products. Tells me it's probably getting close to time to go purchase things. Um, pet. This is for our sweet Sophie and the birds. My husband loves to feed the birds. So I'm gonna put $10 into pet. Now there is some money in here. We are, we're still cat sitting. I love my sweet pea, but we are still cat sitting her lovely. So she puts money in too. So 10, um, 15, sorry, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Good, good. Our cash. I try to put a little bit of money aside for myself. Uh, sometimes it, honestly, sometimes I have to reimburse, reimburse the fast food envelope because I have a slight addiction to 
Dunkin' Donuts frozen coffees. So this doesn't always stay in here. Like what, we're down to tw we're down to 40. I think I was up to like 60 or 80. Yeah, I've spent money on a handful of little odds and ends, but I like to have spending cash so when I'm ready, I can just come to it and grab it. I really don't spend a lot on myself, mostly because I just, I'm not a shopper. And then when I do shop, it's those paper products, it's my toiletries, it's the grocery shopping. So it helps me get out any spending urges that I want. So that's where that is. RV, um, we put $100 into the RV envelope. Every time my husband gets paid, it is the only bill that actually comes out of his check, but his check takes care of everything else. All of these cash funds, a couple sinking funds. So we've kind of divvied up the bills, but the RV comes out of his. So this will sit here until we make it to $200. So the next time he gets paid and then I'll run to the bank real quick and make that payment. And then toiletries is the last of our cash envelopes. Um, it's getting pretty, oh, it's getting pretty full in here. Um, I really need to take time and see what all we need. I haven't done that in a while, so I know that this is in need of spending. So again, it gives me an opportunity to go shopping and I get that urge out. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. All right, and these are all of our cash funds that I put money into. So the rest of this money is going to go into my sinking funds. So I, um, when I started doing cash envelopes for all of this, um, I was really working on a very tight budget. I started looking at all of those amazing organization systems, the binders, the clips, the clear pocket folders, all of that stuff. And I, I just couldn't afford it at the time. So being the thrifty teacher that I am, I made my own envelopes. There is a link down in the description below and I'll put a card up in the corner for you as well. But I made these, it cost me $5 plus time plus tape. Um, I don't mind them, I like them. I think they're pretty, I like the color patterns of them. Uh, just could not afford to, when I started, those amazing folders and envelopes. Now, if that's you and you love them, I strongly suggest you begin to set money aside because it can get expensive really, really fast. And you should never overextend yourself to have the beautiful things that you want. At least I don't believe you should because I don't wanna go into debt for something that I want to use to help me save money. So my sinking funds are that. These are what help me save money for the things that I want. So the first one that my husband's check always comes to is our family birthdays. So we are essentially a family of six, and in that family of six, we everybody gets $100 for their birthday. Now, when you live in the house, a little more is probably gonna get spent on you than 100, but we have three grown children, my husband and myself, so the five of us get 100. The baby who's still in the house, no, he's not really a baby. Um, he usually gets a little bit more spent on him, but reality is when everybody lived at home, they got a little bit more spent on them. So let me add today's date. We're gonna add $25, which should give me, oh no, I have to add across 100. All right, so five, nine, 10, 11. So that should give me 315 in here. So grab a 20 and a five. All right, reorganize. And I don't know how to reorganize. All right, sorry, that was difficult. A more, lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. So this tells me I have 100 in the bank, yay! So we have our first birthday coming up beginning of March. So this has happened just in the nick of time. We have another birthday the beginning of April, and then another birthday in May, and another birthday in June. So really needing to be at that $400 by the 1st of June. So 100. 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290. Oh, I didn't put all the 20s in the right space. Let me start again. All right. 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310, 315. All right. So moving in the right direction. We are really stinking close to having money for our first four birthdays this year. And then later in the year, we have one in August and one in November. So definitely love that that this is a 
sinking fund that I intentionally stuff every time. So most of my sinking funds I don't put money into every time a check gets taken gets paid. However, there are some that always get money. This is one that always gets money. The next one that always gets money out of my husband's check is retirement. There it is. Now this is an, essentially an empty envelope. It really is just a tracking system for me to be able to keep track of everything. And speaking of that, we are out of space. So hold on while I figure out where my trackers are. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I'm not too keen on these fat trackers that I printed out for myself. I really don't like them. They're too big. I like the smaller ones better, but that's okay. I'm not ready to reprint things, so we're just gonna keep it here. So retirement. I always label the top of it so that I know what it is in case something happens and they all fall out. It started at 980. We're gonna put today's date. We're gonna add five more dollars, which should give me 985. So put this, I can't get it open, into here. Five dollars. And then I didn't do so good. I didn't grab that envelope. Shame on me. Um our retirement essentially is a high interest savings account, so it goes into there. Now this envelope I got from the Budget Mom. It was one of the free things that I was given access to when I signed up for her newsletter. So I liked it enough that I went ahead and pushed print. Um, these ones are a little short. Um, I, I when you get too much in here, I feel like the money gets bent a little bit. But I like them. I'm not going to throw them out. I, I used money. To print them so I'm going to continue to use them so this will get to the bank eventually the next one that my husband's check always does is savings this is just a keep in the house savings so put today's date we're gonna add another 10 it's always 10 that comes out of his check that comes into here 30 30 matches yay and then when it gets to over a hundred then I worry about taking it to the bank and doing something with it Tag renewal is another one that I always put money into. Um, I don't know about you, we have way too many tags in the house. So because of that, I need to make sure that I have enough money because it's expensive. Um, let's see, 10 plus 85, I think. I think it's gonna be 195, I can't read my writing there. Um, so because I know that tags are I have to get them. I don't have a choice. They can't just say, I'm not going to get a tag this year. I'm not getting a ticket. So I intentionally build this up. The goal is to have a little over $200. I'll be honest, the last time I got tags, I didn't pay attention to how much they were. So I really don't know how much I need. So once we pay for tags, then from there, I will plan out exactly what needs to get put in. So there's not too much and not too little. So 100's in the bank working, yay! 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 195. Good, that matches, so that means it was 185. So tag renewal is another one that always gets money. So before I started savings challenges, I would have stuffed the next $40 into other sinking funds. Because I have started savings challenges, that doesn't happen it's quite anymore so I have um, seven challenges going right now I will start an eighth challenge in beginning of March I'm gonna start an eighth challenge um, it was my holiday one I had well, I had one for Valentine's Day we met that goal and now I'm moving into the next holiday so really I only have seven but I set money aside for these savings challenges so that when I get enough, then I can go and I can just stuff all my savings challenges. So today, we're gonna take what's left over. And my nickel challenge, which is for my emergency fund, is gonna get $5. Oh. All right, $5. My, sorry about that. You'll notice there is a um, slight discrepancy there. All of a sudden, something happened and my phone stopped working. Um, my 25 cent challenge is my investing challenge and I'm gonna add two dollars to it so it gets two more dollars my 50 cent challenge is for what is this one for debt pay down it's gonna get three dollars one two three dollars 
My $1 challenge is for my Christmas fund. I'm gonna put 10 more dollars into it. And then my last one that this money is gonna go into is my Save 2022 in 2022 for my one month ahead. And I'm gonna add a $20 bill to it. Now, I know that I'm gonna be adding some more money. I'm not ready to say what I wanna organize that at, so that's just gonna go there. And now for my extra, from because we didn't spend all of our fast food money, this is going to go into savings challenges as well. So the first, I'm gonna put five into my Save 2020 and 2022. Put five into here. And then my other one is, the rest of it is going to go into my holiday challenge. So I haven't started it yet, but when I do, I've got another $7 to go inside of my holiday challenge. And that one's gonna be for Easter. So excited, already saving for Easter, can't believe it. All right, so this is getting really fat, which tells me it's probably time to unstuff and stuff everything into its appropriate little savings challenges envelopes. And well, I seem to have run out of money today. I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already, I'd appreciate if you'd hit subscribe down below, thumb up, thumbs up, and I would love to hear what you liked about today. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.